and we find there are, at the present moment there are court cases going on in America for priests abusing choir boys. There are claims to the tune of 500 million dollars and by the turn of this century it will go to 1 billion dollars claims for sodomizing choir boys in the churches. The cases, I got, I got cutting, I didn't know I would have brought it along, i show you. So they don't really believe. They don't really believe in these things. Jesus truly said, if the eye offends you, cast it out. If this eye is going to make you to go to hell, he's telling you, do not look upon a woman to lust after her. Whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her, had committed adultery with her already in his heart. You're already guilty. You, my disciples, you are on a higher level than the Jews. The Jew was guilty only if he committed adultery. And that punishment was stoning to death, according to the Old Testament, the law of God. And Jesus didn't come to change the law. He was in Matthew, again, I think, chapter 5, verse 17. He says, think not that I'm come to destroy the law of the prophets. I'm come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, heaven and earth shall pass away, but one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, or shall teach men so, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall teach and do shall be called great. Where are the Christians who follow the laws and the commandments? Universally, they reject the laws and the commandments. The Christians the Christian says he's not bound by the law. He says he's living in the grace. He is living in the grace. They are not bound by the law. Because he said, if you, according to Jesus, you are worthless rubbish. Even if you break one of these least commandments. You are not his follower. You are not his follower. He says, he's not of me who does not take his cross and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. The way I pray, you pray. The way I am circumcised, you must be circumcised. The, day I, the way I eschew the flesh of the swine, you do the same. No, 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 you don't want to follow him. We Muslims, we are the true Christians. In that we are following Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, but now when we say that, the Christians, we are attacking them. We are attacking them. I say, I'm only presenting to you the cases in daylight. It's a daylight. It's an open secret. What's going on? In the churches, what's going on? The priests, what are they doing? The Anglican Church has just written a new Ten Commandments. Do you know that? The new Ten Commandments, no, the new Ten Commandments for vicars. Vicars. Vicars means priests. How they must behave when the parishioners come along for solace and advice. I'm reading them. I'm reading to his office. I wish I brought it along. He's in my hotel room now. Hmm? A new Ten Commandments. He says, you must not entertain young women late at night. Number one. <laughs> no, no, that's number one. You do not entertain or allow the, your parishioner to come and see you, young woman, late at night. That's number one. First commandment. So I'm asking, what do you mean by young woman? What do you mean by young? How young is young? Huh? The woman of 50, is she old? The woman of 60, is she old? What do you take me for? I'm 78. You think I'm old? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I am 78, my wife is 75, and I tell you, we are not old. <laughs> I tell my wife, I tell my wife jokingly, I tell my wife jokingly, I said, look, you are old, I'm also old. You know? But, you see, let me get some, somebody young, hmm? meaning, get another wife. I said, let me get somebody young to help you. She, said, she says, I'll kill her. I said, no, no, no. I said, look, it's not her fault. I will bring her to help you. She said, I'll kill her. I said, why kill her? If anybody has to be killed, it's me. You know, I'm bringing her. She says, no, I'll kill her. 
<laughs> so I said, I can't afford a murder in the house. So I am satisfied. But now, <laughs> how young is young? You are as young as you feel. You are as young as you think. You are as young as you feel. And late at night, I said, what do you mean late at night? How late is late? You think you can't do wrong things five o'clock in the afternoon? Huh? Damn it all, you have to wait till midnight? Huh? You are a priest and this poor woman, and they said, now how you sit, you must behave. You must sit. You know, when the woman comes to you for solace, you don't sit, you know, with your legs stretched out on the sofa. And no, no, you must sit with all due respect and the lighting must be correct the lighting must be right <laughs> new ten commandments new ten commandments after two thousand years of christianity today you have to learn how to behave with women who are not your wives and daughters When my African people in South Africa, every tribe, Zulu, Tosa, Chwana, every African tribe south of the Zambezi, they have what they call Shonipa, respect for women. They don't intermingle in the primitive society. As Christians, of course, they have the Bible in the hand and they take everybody's wives and daughters to the dead. That's Christians. But this, this primitive African, he has respect for women. What he knows, before the white man came, he had it and he still got it. Today, after 2,000 years, you have to be given new Ten Commandments, how to behave with women in a, of your church. Now, this is what it is. You are not reading your Bible. What the Bible says, don't offend this, one of these little ones. You, this, it's better for you that they put a millstone down your neck and drown you. It means kill them, kill them. Okay.